I am Stephanie, an artist living in Vannes, France. I often get asked about my creative process, so this video is going to address that question. I work every day on my art, as my studio is at home and I am a full-time artist. So I always have ongoing projects and having ideas isn't really an issue for me. What I do try is to sketch down most of my ideas on paper and then I will pick the ones that I like best. Recently I have been working a bit more for specific art shows or projects, so I had to think about specific themes. But most of the time the question is a lot more personal. I am getting out ideas out of my head as they come and some of them will end up as finished artworks. Most of them, however, will just stay in my sketchbook. In my sculptural work, I use everyday objects or trash. I work on the environmental impact of human activities, and the objects I use are a representation of that. In my world, nature is taking over these objects, thriving in a newfound biodiversity. All the objects I pick have a story. Now currently I work on books. Originally I meant to use the books as display for an art fair. I found these second-hand books in a small bookshop in London while I was in residency there. But with the pandemic the fair got cancelled and I had these second-hand books just lying around gathering dust. Now at the same time that all of this happened, I was also invited for a group show with the theme Lucid, and I had to make something specific for this one. I started by checking the exact meaning of Lucid, because often when you look into words, it really can help with idea associations. So what I took away was clarity of mind, and so an informed mind, and finally I decided to use the books that were gathering dust and work on the notion of knowledge. And so I decided to open up a book and let growth come out of it. I decided to go with a mutant blue and some golden accents, just because I really liked these colors. But then at the end it really looked like a fairy tale, so I named the artwork A Tale of Knowledge, and it just really fits well. Now, I personally am completely unable to work on just one artwork at a time. Each project often needs to mature and they get stuck at times. And I'm doing sculptures, so there's always drying time. And I cannot do a sculpture in one go. There's a lot of steps involved, so just practically it's impossible to work on just one project. Most of my projects also need to mature and I simply get stuck at times as well. Like many artists I know, I doubt a lot when doing art. And it is more of a research uh, for the right path, for the right feeling, the right colors than anything else. It is not a very rational process, it's more of an emotional one and a manual one. The hands often work on their own. Doing art is really organic. You follow your guts. I trust my subconscious a lot and tend to actively go with the flow and what feels right at a given moment. If for some reason suddenly I am unsure of something or something feels off, I will move to another ongoing project and let my subconscious run its own way in the background. You see, the brain is fairly easy to understand. Your conscious mind is in the front. It helps you to form coherent thoughts and gives you an illusion of rational decisions. But the real power of your brain is your subconscious. He's always at work, analyzing everything you throw at it, everything you watch, everything you read, everything you see is analyzed by your subconscious. You don't realize it, of course, because it just sends what he deems important to your conscious mind. When your pen is rolling off your table, on the brink of falling, it is your subconscious mind that sends your hand to catch it before you can form the thought of it. 
Similarly, when you do art, you have certain hunches and ideas that seemingly pop into your mind out of nowhere. Often they don't even make much sense. But if you keep doing these ideas and making them one after the other, you will be able to see something, a string, a path, a direction. Sometimes it even can lead to great artworks. Sometimes not, but it's through the constant pulling of ideas that you can grow, evolve and possibly do really interesting things. Doing art can also be very scary. I often have no clue myself why I am doing certain things. This weird tree bird that is rooted on that book. Honestly, I'm not sure it's a good idea, but I'm forcing myself to go until the end. I wanted to test out a material for the wings and I wanted something more surreal. I, I'm not sure. The origin of this one was a late night doodle I did in my sketchbook. I was really tired at that time. It was a crappy day and I just wanted to unwind a bit, do something fun in the evening. And I, I made this. And I don't know, I quite liked it. I thought, why not? Why not make it into a sculpture? I still don't know if it's a good idea. Probably won't know before a few months, but it doesn't matter. I just trust my feelings and then when I want to try something, I just do. Because the worst case scenario is that I don't like the result. That's it. But I still did enjoy the process and I always learn new things when I try to resolve new sculptural challenges. This polar bear here is also one artwork that is not finished and where I'm a bit stuck. It's been waiting for a while. It doesn't feel finished, but it feels so close. I have been playing with some silver highlights more recently, but I'm not quite convinced yet either. Sometimes it really feels like I'm salvaging the mess that I did. I really have to push my own boundaries, pushing myself into color combinations or shapes I don't quite master or know and sometimes it works and sometimes it just gets worse and worse before it can get better. So this is art. It is messy. It is chaotic. You are alone, facing yourself, facing your doubts, facing your feelings but also trusting yourself and saying what is deep inside of you. I would not trade it with anything else in the world. I really hope this video gives you some insight. Maybe you're an artist as well. What's your creative process? I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, share, maybe even subscribe. I wish you a pleasant day and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!